Welcome back. Oh, there it is. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> See, I told you, it's like, I wonder how many times it's like caught you mid act. Yeah. Probably. Probably a lot since we moved to the to the original uh Obes. Yeah. I need to go up there. Sorry, OBS. Yeah, I need to go up there. No. Yes. Yes. Doris is waiting for me near Balmondark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. I need to hurry. Oh, shut up, Clive. We'll get there. All right. We'll get there eventually. I thought that was a hunt. There is a hunt. Oh. Oop. I haven't played in a week, so now I'm all rusty. Second portal. Oh, there he goes. Bye. side quests and it's probably going to be like two or three episodes of side quests isn't it is that Yote? no there were no guards I take it oh. none manning the gates no it's a different Doors. story inside though right the corridors are crawling with the we're tracking down the slave Most trader right left I believe so ran. if Chadwick was being yes. held here I worry that he may already be. I had a few more bites of the sandwich. Just yet. Yeah. But let's move quickly. A lot of meat on it, right? <laughs> the burger. Good. The, Very good. The bacon king. Which, at the same time, I fucking hate good Burger night. King's burgers. Yeah. Stay safe. I don't know why. It just does not feel like it's right. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, like, super into it right now. Just I mean, I like it, but if I were ever course. going to order a burger, I would get it from somewhere there, else. Right? Mm hmm I hope not. I really like getting um, the double cheeseburgers and then letting them sit for a day. And just something about reheating them and dipping them in ketchup just tastes really You're good. You're also a weirdo who can eat uh, reheated fries. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know how you do it. I really don't. Well, first I put it in the microwave. <laughs> really? You don't even buy it first? You just put it in? <laughs> I just put it in the microwave. <laughs> I mean, that's what step, they do. Step one, <laughs> have fries already. Have fries already. Oh. Okay, so this is just lore. You guys can read that if you want to. So this place was no ordinary prison. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. I watched the... Um a cooking thing about uh basically you make mashed potatoes and then freeze it okay. and then cut them into fries okay that makes and fucking sense fry the mashed potatoes yeah oh it looks so good but i know for a fact i'm gonna be a monster if i if i know if i can make them competently uh -huh. it's going to be over for all y'all yeah that four cheese oh, fuck. even just making your own yeah. type of uh of uh mashed potatoes he wasn't even in the room. He was. We brought his ass into the room. I think one of my favorite. Um, I've been watching a lot of Numi lately. Uh -huh. And um, he's about to burp. And she goes. <laughs> she's talking. She she was watching. Um, all of her friends uh, debut streams and talking about him. Like, Yuzu goes on screen, she starts talking for a second. Who is this bitch? <laughs> Why is she like... Um, I think one of the best compliments she could have given, and this is, this is one of those that's like, overall, she goes... This bitch comes in here and says she doesn't know how to sing. If, if she ever, 
ever gets any self-confidence, it's over for us. <laughs> it's over for everybody. They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I feared. My god. Nothing but a cash I can't believe that they would do something the bad to the bearers. Upstairs. That they're slave trading. I can't see how Doris is getting on. They're the supersonic. No. Shing. Supersonic racing. Hello, friends. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Good sir. Yeah, that's fine. Do it again. Go. Oh, he tried. Boy, hitting it. Me when I st when I dance with steel. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> my God. That was pretty badass, I'm Joshua. I'm shortening my life, brother. <laughs> this is not the right one. I guess this isn't the right one. Oh, let's go this way. The game is telling me I have a Zendetsu Ken. I need to use it. Hello, boyos. Well, well, well. Yeah. If it isn't the <laughs> if it isn't the consequences of your actions, yeah. He done shot me. You're the one I'm aiming at. What does that mean? Slowly draw a sword. What's going on in here, Doris? But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. Always is. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but... The elderly. Children, even, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of, whatever that means. I'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? Just this missive. A key. Oh, but it doesn't key. fit any of the locks on this floor. I know the door that Perhaps it goes to. One of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. To the downstairs. <laughs> yeah. gonna be rough to switch my hyper focus I've been hyper fixating on um, Midnight Suns lately and I need to get back into the routine of Resident Evil 2 oh no because that's what's that's what's going on and after after this finishes right you gotta do a, one more run of that yeah and then three Three, I'm not worried about. That's that's a straight like straight line. There's like maybe two areas where it's wide open and they're not even big. Hello. Surprise where are you? It just sounds close. Hello. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. 
what else? Was he some custom monster? Oh, do you know what the monster is? No. Okay. I think I just got a flashback to what this boss fight is. I've never been here. Yeah, but you could have seen it somewhere, like in passing. Maybe. He must have been terrified. Chadwick sent you. Who the fuck's Chadwick? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? Wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Well, let's be Chadwick. Was that? Monster's back. Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. I'm a good deal with that, that thing. Eating bastard in the ground. A thing eats bears? No, oh. honey. No, don't worry so about it. Hello. I can't let it live. Is that the Behemoth King? Not if it's got a taste for it's bears. One of them. Oh wow. Alrighty then. Um, I mean, thank goodness we had that bloody hide. Yeah. I was concerned we were gonna not have one of those. Just gotta be. Uh, just don't question whose hide it was. It's probably Chadwick's. Don't worry about it. Oh man. Who's a beast? He's a beast. It's a hunt, too. Yeah, that's nice. Neat. The beast will wreak havoc if it ever a new notorious prison. mark has been discovered. <laughs> no shit. Oh, you didn't pull him down? No, I really shame. I totally forgot. One week really pulls it out of me, I guess. is still going. That's pretty good. Where are you going? There. <laughs> you know what? I'd also call that meteors right now. Got my ship pushed in by a human. <laughs> Calling meteors. Yeah. Let's do this the right way this time. Or not. I guess he was far enough away. Keep shooting while in pause. Yeah, just keep doing you, I guess. I tried to dodge while I was in the middle of all that. I know you said you didn't want to do the um, the things, the frontalists. Uh, frontalists, yeah. But some of those could be good for the accessories to boost shit. I'm not gonna waste my time with it. Not for this save. I don't see why you couldn't just use this to get your platinum off this bag. I am. We've got everything. Other than uh, like doing all the chronoliths isn't a isn't a achievement, surprisingly. Are you sure? Yeah. I I checked it earlier as soon as I got done with the first one. So I said, Well, I'm done with that. Because I did all of them. I just figured they were part of it. Mm-mm. Unless they took that trophy out, it doesn't exist. 
Sid, are you hurt? Might be one of the curiosities you get for getting all of them done. Fuck. Could be. That that, that makes more sense. Like... Yep. But you already get accessories for it, so I don't know. Maybe. Is that pile of papers, Chadwick? A diary. Damn. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? At least dropped a comment I'm on sure him? You Absolutely. The, last. the girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. Again, we don't really no. know he's dead. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start I'll cutting open the Kuza beast. Yep. The only way, the only way to know. Also, is that Chadwick? We're put, putting a piece of, of this beast in my ramen noodles. <laughs> Gross squelching noises. Is that Chadwick? <laughs> Could it be Chadwick? <clears throat> Yes, I'd like my ramen noodles with a side of Chadwick. <laughs> From what I hear, you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. Well, while we're here, she we is. might as well turn in some Sorry, of the shit we've already sweet. done. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. We've got baths? She trained Chadwick yeah. and I to do two things. Huh. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But nobody oh, that's was ever board. high enough to I've just never to been down there. Yeah. For years we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then one day we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Thank you, character. We've spoken to a total of three times this game. <clears throat> Sweet. Is that a level? Nice. Oh. I feel like Odin's moves are pretty fast cooldowns. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Wait, hang on a second. The baths are right next to, like, the fucking meeting room. Uh huh. Now that I know this exists, I knew there would be a treasure chest. Maybe this isn't this isn't the might be the clothes wash. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also get our drinking water from here. Okay. I've never seen that part. Here you go, Vivian. Here's that book that'll Vivian. get you killed. Enjoy. I found it. The book you lost. You... You found it. 
Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I fear the executors had seized every copy. I'm oh, sorry. they tried. I met with one of these executors. He must have been. And I convinced him to let me keep it. Yep, there goes that train of thought. Something. <laughs> But the truth we got the borders again. Oh, do we? And then if enough hmm. people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable. That it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves... You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. And we're done talking it to did. Vivian. We'll just or quickly author, switch rather. it over. She was a heretic, you see. A fire Do we have a BRB screen down. anymore on, on the OG? Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She She's told not me like that, that my that solitude was mm. not a curse, but a gift. And that. And just like other girls, I tuned her out like alone, two minutes ago. <laughs> what I found at my destination Whoops. would be more than worth the cost. Man. Do you still feel that way? You're <laughs> single. Yeah. But you're not. There are other reasons. But... One of us. Uh, Honestly, that's probably I'm one of them. That's probably one of them. I don't know. <laughs> she hasn't told me. <laughs> if she did, would you have been paying attention? I don't know. Did she say my name within the last five seconds? <laughs> she said Clive, probably. Did she? Yeah. I would have heard it. The more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Yeah, that's how the if primals happen. Yep. Of this benighted world, the gift of truth. Make them believe in you, as I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. Yeah. Cool. Scholar's bonnet. 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 Okay. This yes. helps. All right. So go ahead and switch to the other, uh, the other screen real quick, and I will try to fix this problem. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I can't believe these are set up. I don't remember setting this up. I think it was for the... Uh, what's it called? It was specifically set... For the anniversary stream. Oh, that looks way too big. Well, that's it. Um, let me, let me make it a little smaller real okay. quick. Uh, so I feel like I'm a little blown in boop. live editing. It's not like we haven't seen everything on this screen beforehand. Yeah. I'm jealous. Cause I want to throw down money on those, uh, the pixel remasters. Mm -hmm. I really like just want to sit down and play them on my PS five, but I just can't bring myself to pull the trigger and buy them. Okay. Try that. A little bit. Is that better? You got like half of what we did have. Okay, so I have to have it fully blown in. Interesting. Problem is, we've had that like that. Uh huh. And you, for some reason, now it's a it's a problem for you. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. He's got the Kenji gloves. He's got the Kenji gloves. That's just an overall 5% extra damage. 
Nice. And I guess this is the last one then. Cool. Best of luck out there, Sid. Um, okay. Anyone else in here? Uh, that missus guy has a thing. Yeah, he's just telling me that they're all over the place. That's it. He's not important to the game whatsoever. There is one here, though. Where at? Oh, oh my reading table. table. Okay. Fast travel. <laughs> you were right here. No, not right here. I was over there. Oh my god. What a waste of fun. You playing with the demon? I heard him yesterday. What'd he say? Um, well, he didn't say anything, <laughs> but he definitely made something crash. Oh, I had that the other day, but that was, I, I realized what it was. It was the, um, the soda thing fell down. Oh, that might've been it. That might've been the, the noise I heard the other day then. Yeah. It's usually me making demands of Hippocrates. And I don't know if maybe she what growled at me this about? morning or maybe the demon growled at me this morning, but... I don't think she was awake yet. That was also, like, in that weird, like, almost awake, but also in REM sleep point. Mm. So. Have we told him his friend's dead? Tomes? Yeah. No. No, we have not. We should probably do that. Hey, man, bat save. Yeah, so he doesn't break the game. Hey, man, bad news. <laughs> so about them bears. <laughs> they dead. Lordsman Harpocrates, I received your note. Ah, yes. I expect you're wondering what this is all about. <laughs> yeah. You spoke of making amends with Dion, <clears throat> but I can't imagine what for. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once his tutor. Oh. This was some years ago, of course, before I joined Sid in his hideaway. At that time, I was counted among the foremost scholars of Oriflam and was accordingly invited to the palace to supervise the young prince's education, all to ensure that the future emperor had a firm grounding in, well, everything an emperor should. History, religion, commerce, government... Alas, our time together was cut short when Dion left to join the Dragoons. His studies no longer being deemed necessary. I had not expected to meet with him again, least of all here. Have you spoken with him? No, I... I have yet to find the right moment. His Highness always seems so preoccupied, especially when alone. I would not wish to disturb his ruminations with idle words of greeting. Not when I know he dwells upon the evil Ultima had him commit in the Dominion. The guilt weighs heavily on him, I know. But as you say, that was Ultima's doing. Surely you can't blame yourself. When I first met him, it was not guilt, but his people's expectations that weighed heavily upon him. And I did nothing to ease that burden. He bore it alone. Until the day he could not bear it any longer. It is one of my greatest regrets that I only ever offered him my wisdom when what he truly needed was friendship. The blame for Dion's transgressions lies not only on his shoulders, but on mine. I see. I'm ready to help you in any way that I can. Then I beg that you bring me a wild wyvern tale. Apothecaries across the ages agree that even to glimpse such a flower... I want to say I'm sorry to the dragon man. Hey, can you get me a dragon tail? Does all, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but there is oft a seed of truth to be found where even the most outlandish opinions align. Well, it can't hurt to try. Where can I find this flower? Now will I know it. You have seen cultivated wyvern tails before, I trust. The lily-white blossoms from whose roots the poisonous ink for the brand is distilled. Well, those which grow in the wild differ only in their purple hue. The harsher the environment in which they are raised, the deeper the color. Oh. There is a waterfall 
in Rick Mal's roost across the strait, where the flowers once grew in abundance. Whether they still survive there, I know not. But try as I might, I can find no likelier location. It's all right. I'll find you a wife and tail one way or another. Thank you, Clive. And please, be safe. Don't tell me what to do! I do whatever the fuck I want. Okay, where's that other one? Down in the dungeon. Say what you will. Lady Karen has seen our source. What I will. Do 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 travel in across this area. Whatever should I write next? I don't know. Love story, perhaps? But with a happy end. Oh, where the fuck is the person? Oh, they might be on the third floor. Oh yeah, the dude that wanted to go to that place that we said no. Right, 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 right. The reason we went there. Yep. That guy. That guy's book. The book for that guy. I hear that you traveled to Ash, Sid. Did you by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? Yep, and their bodies. Yes. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse than he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survived. All their names are here. The ones we lost, my friends, my light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces like it was yesterday. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning, never to return, no explanation ever offered. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive? When so many others died in that awful place. Yeah, lucky. It's not your fault. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. Honor their memory. See that their names live on. That way at least. They're never truly gone. Thank you. Sid. I'm going to the write theme a I see a lot lately. Hmm. An account of the horrors um, of Badbach. Remember those who have fallen because then they never truly die. Oh, oh yeah. Like, I've been seeing that everywhere. That is a main the theme in Dawn Trail. Hmm. I, lost. I, I believe in that. I do too. The person or whoever is never yes. truly dead until the last time their name is spoken. Mm -hmm. Um. You? My D&D &D character had tattoos of uh, names of people he's lost. Hmm. That way he'll never forget them. Right. He was a cleric, right? Mm -hmm. the, the cleric did that? Yep. It was also something to help him with the guilt. Being, being somebody who has holy healing and failing to save people. Yeah. He's dead now. He got bit in half by a naga. Happens. It's a big ass mouth. Yeah. You would have thought he'd just be swallowed, but no, he was a dwarf, so okay. he was smaller. Yeah, but still, naga are like it was. It was almost like, like half humanoid. <clears throat> oh no, it was a big guy. It was. It was like a. Um... Oh god, I can't remember what it was called. It was. It was a. Uh... It was like a blessed thing. It was really big. Okay. I mean, 
I guess technically a naga could be any any size of snake. So you could have like a naga basilisk type type situation going on. Well, it's not part human. It just had a humanoid face. Okay. Just reminds me of um Ko from uh the last airbender even yeah, though it was basically that it was, it was basically that it was a uh, scorpion <clears throat> but i mean now what was the face stealer yeah the face stealer was ko wasn't he a, wasn't he a giant snake thing i thought he was a scorpion he might have changed like shape three or four times too but the one that i had, i remember is him like coming down from the tree and it's the white face trauma <laughs> he wasn't specifically scary, but it's the type of image that you're going to remember forever. It's like, um, it's like your version of Nyx. So just mm -hmm. He's not scary. I just don't like him. Yeah. I don't like it. Like part of its face is just, it's perfect. It's perfectly uncanny. Hey there, bud. I suppose. Off to Northreach. Azair might at least have mentioned where in Northreach he'd be testing this recruit. I'm nervous. Hey guys, what's well, going on over here? This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. At your service, Master. Please, just sit. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Oh, of course. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant <laughs> says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. Especially I now. Am, but I swore I'd face them. Just like the man who saved my life. Who would that be? Gav, it was him who found me and freed me. No magic, no support, just one man and his nose came and sniffed me out. It taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. And I've been training ever since, so that one day I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. You clearly have good intentions. Emma. Again, we ask, why me? Like why not Gav? Yeah, why, why not bring Gav? Make a fine curse breaker. Because so, Gav would be like, oh, you're well, doing great, kid. Yeah. Have I passed? You haven't even started yet. Now listen. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, Eastwatch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, 
create a distraction and effect an escape, all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Good luck. Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. All right, so do we give him like a 20 minute head start and we go check in on him or? It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. Oh my boy. All right, Ember. Impress me. Come on. Wasn't there a, uh, a hunt out here? Or was that... I, I've got two hunts left on the board. And then a few of these lead to some hunts. These are clean kills. Let me see. We just That's did the beast. The beast is in between the two, uh... Well, maybe not. In between the two. I know we haven't done Wailing Banshee. Correct. That's in Walud. Damn it. Okay. Uh, Ember, draw your sword! Oh, oh, oh God! Then run! Uh, um. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Damn. I can't even tell. If the, I, I don't see any damage higher than what you're hitting. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to tell when the fucker, like the satellite's actually hitting. Yeah, it, it does work while while the game is paused like that, though, because I've tested that. It's the um, it's the little God, Tintet's skin is so cool. Yeah, it's the um, the thirty damage hits that you see when mm. when he's doing it. Ember, are you? Really are a rare breed. He said leave, so we left. Back to Northreach it is then. Alright, where are we at? I think we're in Walud. You're in Sandbrack. Sandbrack. Uh did we beat uh the Blood Moon? No. It was in the croc. Okay. So that's the one that's here <clears throat> then. I feel like we did that one. We've been to the croc like two or three times. Are they not like they listed so in, in there like on the hunt board? Yeah. So look for the beast that we fought because the what ones that you? are you right beside it are the ones that that we're missing I right now. To Eastwash, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there. One's in Walud. I had to step in and take care Another's of Another's in Walud. By the time I had. And then no the Grim Reaper it. Prince. Or the Grim Reaper is in uh, Sandbrack, e east of West Watch. I'm sorry, Sid. I don't think we I have that. A nervous streak, but he seemed like the right man After for the completing job. under new management too. Okay. I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Eh? You did great with that How distraction, you... Clive. Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, is there? And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... Yeah, he, he, he did, he did exactly what Gav would have done. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. 
Yes, Sergeant. Oh, there's two out here. Yeah, we'll go we finish it. under new management too. This won't be an easy decision. Uh, you get the Grim Reaper and Knight of the Splendent. Okay. Oh, Knight of the Splendent Heart. Seen him. The thing didn't stand a chance. Neither did you, I. Masterless Marauder and the Wailing Banshee. Then no, neither of them were in Sandbrack. Cool. That's why I was looking for ones in Sandbrack, because you were in Sandbrack. Okay. That Welcome makes back, more sense. Sid. Welcome back, Sid. Yes. Welcome back. Trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But from what I hear... Things didn't go quite as planned. No, they most certainly did not. But they still went off uh, without a hitch, so... Amber lost his nerve in the face of a beast of prey, but he didn't lose heart. He pressed on, and he achieved his aim. And is that not what we ask of our scouts? Indeed it is. Thank you for your honest Yeah, like, we're not training the scouts to, the like, fight. remains, fight. However, that Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember is little more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, it's true. And this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade, and any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that lot, young Ember here has shown he has a conquer and a half. Wouldn't do to waste it now, would it? Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. I'll spend my days and nights in the pit if I have to. I'll show you. Just you wait. I think that went well. Down, but he's always in the right place. Just like someone else we know. And if you ask me, we've been leaning on him for far too long. That time the curse breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. It couldn't hurt. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will ya? I won't have him thinking he's been half done by. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'd be asking for a day off. <sighs> Chance would be a fine thing. Back to work. Forgive me, Sid. This did not play out as I expected. <laughs> Things really do these days. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. New quest is available nearby. Oh my god. Just doesn't stop. Nope. And we'll talk to him in the next episode. I'm gonna finish up tomes real quick. It's Gav talking about being the father who stepped up. Oh, sweet. Osman, I found the flowers you were looking for. You did? I think I did. Indeed. My dear boy, thank you. You wanted to make Dion a gift of one, did you not? Shall I invite him to join us? Oh, uh, I don't... It's no trouble. I'll go and fetch him. Was that it? Now we got, like... 
We gotta go find Dion, I guess. Is he here? Yeah, he's down the stairs. Hey, buddy. Your Highness. <laughs> Not a thought between those eyes. Me. He's thinking about yeah. his man. Yeah. He should probably Sorry go say goodbye that. before he goes sacrificing himself. What are you talking about? Only to the shelves. Our lawsman has something he'd like to give you. What? What are you talking Master about? What? Properties. What do you mean? Dion makes it. <laughs> There's no fucking Dion way. Dion makes it. Everybody. There's no way he gives himself Nothing to Bahamut. Nothing bad happens. <laughs> and he but don't do die. <laughs> Nothing bad happens to this cast. <laughs> I've taken countless innocent lives. And ruined countless more. All because I was weak. I have sworn to atone for my crimes or die in the attempt. But were I to meet with him again and see in his eyes what I have become, I fear that my resolve might falter. Then that is all the more reason to do it. Test your resolve. Prove to yourself and to him how strong it truly is. Your mouth didn't I must move, Dion. At least offer him my gratitude. Very well then. Take me to him. Follow me. Oh, you're actually standing. Even now, I hesitate to approach him. What must he think of me? He's thinking the same thing, Dion. You'd be surprised. Go to him. To Harpocrates. Pray. Accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. Your lessons opened my mind to a world quite unlike the one I had imagined from within the gilded confines of the palace. And I shall be forever grateful for the efforts you made to enlighten me. Lift up your head, your highness. The deeds of youth require no apology. That you took the time to visit me says much about the man you have become. Now, there is something I would like to show you. That makes sense. Is that a wyvern tale? Color is unfamiliar to me. Because it is unique to those found in the wild. Something in the harsh environments in which they grow lends them this striking hue. Their roots are indistinguishable from those of their hothouse cousins, but once they bloom, the difference is immediately apparent. In this flower, I see you, Your Highness. Its roots were the roots of a wyvern tail, with all that implies. But they do not define it, just as yours do not define you. I want you to have it, that it might remind you of this truth. Master Harpocrates. I would ask of you a service. Keep your gift until I have fulfilled my duty to the realm 
For only then shall I be deserving of it. As you wish, Your Highness. I shall await your return. Sick flower. What's it mean? It means I'm going to die, Clive. Yep. Parents do not define us. No wonder my stepmother didn't like him. <laughs> For reuniting me with memories I had thought long lost. What is this? Koopa nuts. God what? Damn it. <laughs> I shall not forget this. And Dion gave me these. Thank you. There is nuts. <laughs> not for you. I fear I might never have found the right moment to speak with him. Not to mention the wyvern tales. I shall plant their seeds. That I might not disappoint his highness. Upon his return. Yep. I hope the soul in the hideaway is to their liking. Why? These flowers bloomed in the bleak black wastes of Walud. I'm sure Nigel's yard will suit them to a tea. When it comes to expressing one's gratitude, I find that words are seldom sufficient. Here. What's this? A stolas quill. Or more precisely, my stolas quill. It is said that an owl's feathers are steeped in the wishes it hears over its long lifetime. All those words just waiting to pour out onto the page. So consider this my wish for you. That one day you may put down your sword and pick up that pen. Well, when that day comes, I certainly have a lot to write about. Thank you, Harpocrates. It shall have pride of place in my chamber. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode where I fix these borders.